Hi, I'm Christy with Katie. I'm here at the International AIDS Conference in Montreal, AIDS 2022. Black Canadians continue to be overrepresented in the HIV epidemic in Canada, despite huge gains in HIV prevention and treatment research. I spoke with Dr. Notisha Masakoy to hear her thoughts on why and what we need to do about it. My name is Notisha Masakoy. I'm an assistant professor at the Department of Health and Society at University of Toronto Scarborough. Currently, Black Canadians are facing a healthcare system that is not set up to address the specific needs that they have. When it comes to HIV in Canada, Black communities have one of the highest rates of new HIV infections, 25% um, when we only make up 4.3% of the population. I'm located in Toronto where um, I've been doing most of my work and research and the Black population is 9%, but when we look at Women, black women specifically, they make up 70% of all new HIV infections for the city of Toronto. So that's what we're facing. We're facing a um, extremely high levels of new HIV infections. We don't have a system that's responding to it and we don't have a system that is actually putting resources to help us address the HIV pandemic from a black community perspective. Our healthcare system is supposed to be set up to be universal, where we can all ac access healthcare services. Um, our system is also supposed to be responsive to the most marginalized in our populations. So the idea of how our health system is set up is one in which the most marginalized, the people who have the highest need, should get the most resources. That is not what's happening um, in terms of HIV. So black indigenous communities from a critical race lens should be getting the most resources. They have the most need. Um, it's not that we are the largest population, but we are the populations with the greatest need. Um, and that need has been facilitated by the social determinants of health. So when we look at economic marginalization, when we look at the levels of anti-black racism that our communities are experiencing and what that looks like is overrepresentation in almost all chronic illnesses um, in Canada. So black communities will have the highest rates of HIV, the highest rates of diabetes, um, the highest rates of all the stress-related illnesses. The other thing we have to think about is research. Right, how much research resources are geared towards uh, research that's going to address HIV specifically in black communities. Um, how many black researchers are being funded? Let's take a look at our education system. So how many students who identify as black are also coming through a system where they're supported to do work in HIV specifically around black communities? So those are all of the things that, that we have to take into consideration. But the biggest one is we have not spent enough money and resources uh, around HIV prevention, even alerting the black community to their overrepresentation and their rates of HIV, the risk factors involved in, in um, HIV acquisition. And then we're not putting resources into services specifically clinical services so that we can get people tested, so that we can get people on treatment, so that we can get people um, to suppress their viral load so that we aren't continuing HIV transmission in a, in a community. But um, Canada is that G7 country that has not been able to reduce its HIV infections. We have not reached the 95, 95, 95 UN goals. We are not near getting there. And one of the greatest reasons why that is the case is the lack of investment and engagement that we've had with black communities. The biggest lesson is understanding that black people are experts in their own lives. Black people know exactly how we can address HIV in our communities. We just need the resources to do it. We need equitable access to support, services, treatment and care those things are not actually readily available to us in the Canadian healthcare system. So number one, it's allowing black people to lead 
It's allowing black people to develop a strategy. We need a national strategy to address HIV that's very specific to black communities, led by black communities and for black communities. And I think that's the biggest thing that we're gonna take away from this conference. It's the need for communities who are most impacted to be allowed to lead the change uh, in addressing HIV for their communities. I, I think one of the, the key things in, in the response to HIV has been education, access to information, access to resources, and Katie has been absolutely phenomenal in terms of their partnership with black communities and with agencies serving black, organize, uh, black agencies and organizations serving black communities. And we've relied very heavily on the support that Katie has been able to give us to make sure that our materials, our reports, our films, all the things that we've produced can be widely distributed and, and, and shared. So those types of partnerships to allow educational materials to be shared widely um, is, is a really key component to addressing HIV with black communities. Mm -hmm.